Game of Thrones is back, baby! I just watched the first two episodes of HBO Max's House of the Dragon. For some reason I thought the show was called House of Dragons, not House of the Dragon, but whatever, here we are. If you were the one fan who liked how Game of Thrones ended, you're probably pretty pumped for this. If you're like the rest of us, however, you might be going into this very cautiously, not wanting to get your feelings hurt again. Here's the good news. The show's very mediocre so far. So if an executive over at HBO Max for some reason, I don't know, on a whim decides to cancel the rest of the season, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. The show's in the same universe, obviously, as George R.R. R. Martin's books, but he has nothing else to do with this. This is set a full 200 years before Khaleesi enters the fray. Who do we have to follow here? Khaleesi Jr. That's right, Princess Rihanna Targaryen is the main focus of this show. She's like Baby Yoda. She's not really Khaleesi, she just looks like her and has the same bloodline. That's right, Khaleesi fans, House of the Dragon features another strong female lead. And honestly, it's about time. Jokes aside, Khaleesi was my favorite character from Game of Thrones. I think she was a lot of people's favorite character until they ruined her in the last season. So maybe this is like a second chance. My first impressions of the show, not great. Game of Thrones hooked me pretty early on. In fact, the opening scene with the forbidden love taking place in the tower as they realize they're being watched and push the little Stark kid out the window to take him out of commission. That was some brutal shit. And a great introduction into this world. How nobody is safe. How people will turn on one another, cut each other's throats to save their own skin. Sometimes having to cut off their own skin because it's infected with some weird scale stuff. Regardless, a lot happening. There was mystery, there was intrigue, there was magic. There's a lot of backstabbery, and there's a lot of different houses, all yearning for their spot on the Iron Throne one day. As of now though, this show only focuses on one house, and that's the Targaryens. And I assume it's gonna be how they end up toppling themselves over the course of this show. Outside of baby Yoda Khaleesi, who's not really wowing me right now, Matt Smith is easily the highlight as the douchey brother. I think his name is Prince Daemon Targaryen. I'm not honestly sure. It took me like six seasons to figure out half the cast of Game of Thrones. A lot of mumble speaking, a lot of quiet talking and garden walking. This is no different. Uh, you, you should probably put subtitles on to catch even half of what they're saying. We are only two episodes in, but as I stated, nothing's really grabbing my attention. It's all serviceable. Effects wise, the show is just as large as ever before. Not a huge fan of the new title sequence, the da -na 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 -na. I mean, I appreciate that they brought the song back. Maybe they could have tweaked it a little for the new series. I'm just not huge on the blood rivers flowing everywhere. In the original, the long intro was epic because you were scaling the entire map, seeing all the different locations and landmarks and the people that ran these communities. You had the Starks, the Lannisters, other things I forgot. And I can't imagine George R.R. R. Martin is helping in any way, shape or form with this series. He was pretty checked out in the last one. What is he on like the fourth book still? What is this guy doing? There's no way he's finishing this series. He'll be dead long before he gets it done. That's probably sad for some people to hear, but it's honestly the truth. I mean, I'm sure someone else can take up the mantle and finish the thing for him, as long as it's not the dudes that wrote the final season of Game of Thrones. Clearly, they have a big budget for the show. They're not scaling back. Although I will say episode two had some very questionable CG. A lot of bad green screen when they were walking up to that other castle. Oof, that was bad. So as of right now, I'm cautiously, uh, cautious. I wouldn't say cautiously optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all. I saw what they did to the last series. I know it's different showrunners, writers, and whatnot. I'm still burned. I'm still sour. So this really has to do something to wow me and get me back. But right now, they're just kind of lulling me through the episode. I am making it through, though, without falling asleep. So I guess that's something. Let me know what you think of House of the Dragon. Don't like the title, don't like the name of the show. Are you like me and you want a little bit more sex in the show, a little bit more scandalous stuff going on? Maybe some more beheadings or some magic or some other factions trying to come in. I know they're slowly introducing little things here and there, but I need things faster, damn it. Or are you really digging this so far, like the characters and can't wait for more? Put it in the comments below. Like the video if you had a good time. Please think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV show content each and every week on the channel. Would love to have you here, and hopefully, I'll see you next time. 
since you stuck around, I might as well promote some of my other content. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash adamdoesmovies. Not only do I stream myself playing some video games with some buddies, I also every week am now gonna start editing this show here so you can see the behind the scenes process of what goes down and how it actually takes quite a bit longer to make one of these episodes than you might think. If you want faster content, I'm on Twitter, I'm on TikTok at Adam Does Movies, or hey, if you really like the show, maybe think about becoming a supporter via Patreon or right here on YouTube via the join button. You get access to 300 exclusive videos and counting. So that's worth it alone, I think.